What is going on guys, David Productions 119 here. Today I'm going to be doing a cluster swap on my car. I already got the bezel out, it's the scariest part ever. My heart was beating. Um, I'm going, not gonna be recording much, just because I wanna make sure I'm doing this right. But let me flip the camera on and show you guys the basis of it. Okay guys, so here's the old bezel and sells my radio attached. Basically all it is is you pry right here all around the bezel with a plastic piece. I left it in my car and then you basically Put the same thing in this gets bolted in i'm not too worried about this there's just bolts um this is the new bezel only problem is you guys can see this one has screw mounts for this so i'm going to unbolt these real quick move everything over to here and i'll show you guys how i secure the radio onto the new one Alrighty, guys i didn't really want to film too much of this because i was kind of struggling just a little bit um i don't know why my engine's idling so loud i'm just kidding so i got the cluster in this is how it looks I'm very excited for this. This looks amazing. All my buttons work. Everything is perfect. The screen's a little bit shifted. You guys can see. I don't know. Actually, no, no, it's not. It looks perfect. So I really didn't want to change anything really. So the biggest, hardest part for me, honestly, for this whole thing would probably have been mounting the screen. Um, I didn't really make a, like a clip on it because it was kind of annoying. I just wanted to make sure it worked. So basically all I did was I used Gorilla Tape here. Then I kind of drilled some holes behind here, do zip ties. So as you guys can see, all the parts of the screen are responsive. Everything works, still get my SRT pages. The radio still works and everything. So that's that, I'm very excited about that. But guys, do you know what's really cool? Well, first of all, sport mode, is there a sport mode button? I press sport, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if it's a sport button. That's interesting. Anyways, um, so that's the one thing is if I press sport mode, I don't see anything changing. So unless it's that thing up there. No, that's just the park sense. But anyways, guys, let me just show you guys real quick what this has. So what I enabled is cluster swap mode. All you gotta do for that is press the cancel button and the traction kill button at the same time. Make sure your radio is hooked up and everything. And like, as of right now, like this looks great. Like I, I love how this looks. So there's my big speedo. There's vehicle info. What, what I like about this, guys, is look at this. Battery voltage is cool. Intake air temperature doesn't show. Engine torque, look at this. It shows my torque that I'm doing right now, so that's good. And then vehicle info, engine power, horsepower. And then it shows tire pressure, obviously. It shows coolant temp. It shows, what is this? Trans temp right here, which is cool. And then it also shows oil temp, oil pressure. So basically the same stuff that this shows, like the SRT screen. So let me pull this up. Basically all this is now in the cluster, which is cool. I don't I still don't know why my gear isn't showing up there. But other than that, guys, like this was kind of it wasn't too hard. It was just I didn't really want to mess anything up. Also, what's cool is that a lot of people are asking if it shows all-wheel drive. If your model has it, it'll show in the cluster. Performance, 0 to 60, 0 to 100, eighth mile, quarter mile, braking distance, and then Gs, which shows over here, peak Gs, lap time, lap history, top speed. And let's go back here, driver assist. So my cruise control thing is wasn't working before. I don't really care too much about that. No, the lights are on. Just the one in the top corner. Fuel economy. I don't know why I'm getting 8.5. I got to clear this. All right. Um, so to clear it, you press this, the arrow, and then the uh, cruise plus. So as of right now, I'm averaging 8 point whatever. I have my range in the top left. have the time in the middle, and then the temperature on the right. have my gear showing. What else do we got in here? Average fuel economy. I think that's the only one in here. Yeah. Anyways, uh, next trip info, 9,000, let me see trip A, 9,746, I'm gonna reset that real quick. I don't have my tripod on me right now. So trip A, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's also cool that it shows your MPGs as well and during your trip, then the radio, then the messages. I don't know why it keeps saying park sense unavailable. That's my backup sensors. I'm pretty sure those still work. I don't know why this thing's being weird. 
screen settings what is this oh this is the change like where you want the gauges and everything speed wiring don't need that diagnostics you can check that and then the speedometer so guys that is everything i'm very excited you guys can see it shows my current gas over there and then that i think i can change where i put those i don't know and also i like how it shows the coolant temperature so as i said before these are digital that's digital that's digital or that's analog that's analog and then the middle is digital so you guys can see the turn sickness on different it's i don't know i just i just prefer it just such a cleaner look give you guys a little so a show of what this looks like i have this screen as well anyways guys i don't really want to bore you guys too much this took me probably about what time is it it's 3 50 probably took me about like an hour and a half just to make sure everything's good just to check everything i did drop a screw for the cluster under here that i had to take some of the dash apart so luckily it's back together guys i'm very excited for this this cluster looks amazing i'm just it just changes the look so much i'm gonna go cruising a little bit i don't want to bore you guys too much but anyways guys this is the old cluster so look at the new one and look at the old one so i'm probably gonna just keep this as a keepsake all right guys so this is one day later and the cluster swap is a success you guys can see i have also installed the type s lights the trim lights i showed you guys that i've had these for a while in my closet in terms of the cluster everything works the only thing that's different is that when you press the sport mode it doesn't really pop up in the cluster when you turn the car on it says like traction control and sport i don't know if there's like an auto sport option maybe but the car definitely shifts how it's supposed to in sport so i'm very excited for that i'm probably might change this depending on because this is kind of bright so i, I might want to put this thing over here i kind of wasn't really thinking about that really yesterday i kind of just threw it in just hope for the best um so probably gonna change that probably not today I, i'm gonna leave it but guys i love this car it's coming together everything is coming together i'm very excited for that but just want to update you guys with that the cluster is working pretty well no major issues at all as i said before only thing is the sport mode button's not popping up on the screen but that's okay because i have the srt pages here also what's cool is that if you set srt settings it shows instead of h for hot and then c for cold it just shows the um 170 and then 260 which is kind of cool so that's really cool instead of showing hot and cold it shows the temps so this is a night shot these lights look amazing um i do have lights for here as i explained before i don't know if i'm gonna put them in or not i don't know this is kind of a lot of light by itself what i have to do actually is take this off i'm gonna wrap this with electrical tape like right here because it's a little bit too bright so yeah i'm gonna put like a couple strips of electrical tape right here because from the passenger seat this is kind of bright so I, I can literally just cover all this if even i'm probably just gonna cover this just this part but it's, it's it's hella bright so i'm gonna do that but guys let me know what, what you guys think it goes all the way to here it looks really awesome i love how this looks at night this car is what came alive really and it kind of matches this light like as you guys can see it's similar lights so so that's how it was before with the lights off nothing really going on and this the cluster is new and then the blue light so let me know what, what you guys think um i'll catch up with you guys in the next scene i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was kind of not really in depth at all so i'm sorry about that it just the screen was kind of a pain to install onto the radio and as you guys can see everything's working fine so yeah i'm loving it so anyways guys i'll see you guys in the next scene or if this is in the video then i'll catch up with you guys in the next video as you guys can see power stop extreme performance brake systems so i had ordered brakes because i need brakes it's a heavy box but this is the z26 extreme brake pad kit from power stop um i'm going to be installing this probably next sunday that the day doesn't really matter to you guys because you guys probably won't even see me install this because i want to make sure i'm doing everything right but i'm probably going to crack this open in a couple days see what's going on i still have these tires i'm trying to sell the guy's supposed to meet me hopefully this friday so hopefully i can do that also shout out to this milk milk for life this is amazing this stuff is awesome there's a manual car passing by but anyways guys very excited for these um these are expensive as hell but i need new brakes because you guys have not seen in one of the past videos my rear brakes are actually pretty bad and i didn't even notice that until my one friend told me they had like two out of 30 seconds left so i gotta get those done asap it's gonna do them today 
But look at the weather outside. It's rainy and everything. I don't really want to do that. So I'm doing this next week, next Sunday, in a week. Very excited. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next scene. Alrighty, guys, this is the last clip of the video. Um, I did install this light right here, as you guys can see. Um, I kind of did it pretty badly. Like the um, the one piece to shoot the light out is right here. Probably should have wired one of these down a little bit, like lower here. Um, if I really want to change it, I can always um, I can always buy another one of these, like thirty bucks, just for like just this part. But let me know what you guys think. This is the the, the new night shot. I'm home right now. The cluster looks amazing, as, as I said before. Uh, let me know what, what you guys think about this light. Let me know if you guys think I should keep both of them in. I think I should. I think it looks pretty good. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Let me flip the camera on real quick. Put this on. Put this on real quick. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the cluster swap and these LED light interior lights. I'll leave the links for the interior lights in the, in the description below. Got them at AutoZone. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one, guys. Peace out, guys.